Hello everyone. Myself are Vahita, Assistant Professor of CAC Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. I am here to discuss a few topics in the subject CS8592 Object Oriented Analysis and Design. We are going to discuss about class diagram. The objective is to understand about the concepts of class diagram. So first let us know what is a class diagram. Okay. So the UML includes class diagram to illustrate the various classes available, the classes, their interfaces and their associations. Okay. So they are used for static object modeling. This is used to depict the classes within a model and it describes the responsibilities of the system. It is also used in forward and reverse engineering. The keywords used along with the class name are abstract, interface, actor. Class diagram is a static diagram which represents the static view of an application. The class diagram is not only used for visualizing, describing and documenting different aspects of the system, but also it is used for constructing the executable code of the software application. The class diagram describes the attributes and operations of a class and also the constraints imposed on the system. The class diagrams are widely used in the modeling of object oriented systems because they are the only UML diagrams which can be mapped directly with object oriented languages. The class diagram shows a collection of classes interfaces, associations, collaborations and constraints. It is also known as the structural diagram. The purpose of class diagram can be summarized as analysis and design of the static view of an application describes the responsibilities of a system. It is a base for component and deployment diagrams, the forward and reverse engineering. So the class is represented in a rectangular box showing the class name, attributes, operations. Okay, so first in the first row we will uh, explain the class name, then the second we will have the attributes and the last we will have the operations. Okay, so the main elements of the class are attributes, operations and method, the relationship between classes. First let us see about attributes. An attribute is a logical data value of an object. This attribute of a classifier also called as structural properties in the UML. The full format of attribute is the text notation that is it has a syntax like this. The visibility name type multiplicity equal to default property string. The visibility marks include uh, public private which is represented by the public is represented by plus private attribute is represented by minus so this is the diagram shows the classes various classes like sale math and person so the sale class have the attributes like a date time and money so since they are private it is depicted as the minus and in this class diagram class diagram the first name and the middle name and the last name are their attributes okay so these are called as attributes and in this math class the plus sign represents public okay operations and methods one of the compartments of the UML the class box shows the signatures of operations assume the version that includes a return type so operations are usually assume public if no visibility is shown both the expressions are possible that is both public and private so an operation is not a method the uml operation is a declaration with the name parameters return type exceptions list and possibly a set of constraints of pre and post conditions methods or implementations so syntax is shown like this visibility name that is parameter list then return type that is property string the relationship between classes is already explained that is association generalization and specification composition and aggregation aggregation, dependency and interface realization. Thank you.